Last video we saw me solo claim the best and most contested rat hole on Ark and get it somewhat secure. But in today's video we got so much work to do, like upgrading it fully to tech tier, defending it from countless attackers and as always I get into loads of profitable day 1 raids. And let me not forget the ton of PvP in today's video, hope you do enjoy. So starting this one off with a little bit of farming, I had to get some silica pearls and whilst I was over here I saw someone fly over me, so I'm going to go PvP them and see if I can gain some loot from him. Okay. I just missed the easiest bowl of my life. Then decide to hit. It happens. Then decide to hit like that harder bowler. I can. Uh, just white drops already. So I was scouting around Crystal Wells and I found a pretty hidden base that was actually kind of fat considering it was about 12 hours into wipe. So I'm going to bring some stuff over here to raid this base and hopefully we'll get him. I got I got one C4 on it. I got did get one C4. I don't know if that's gonna go through the box or what. Right, leave it. I'm leaving them. Let's no, see no, what no. this does if I blow this. I think I just got all the turrets off. I got two turrets down. Let's go. I can drop yeah, it from that. Yeah, then it, yeah, I do. Easy. Use. Easy, boy. I got 40k. How am I still getting shot? How am I? Okay. No, I told you, you don't need to soak that. Alright, that should be all down now. Yep, that's 150, down. 150. So I actually had an imprinted trike actually very early into this wipe. So I could soak a fair few bullets. Bear in mind this was a prim saddle and it didn't really have much HP at all. But it was soaking pretty well. I don't know. No. God Bro, damn. this this is this is soaking like a champ. Yeah, and it's not made for it. And that's two heavies, bro. That's two heavies, that. So for the next half an hour, I'll just be soaking because they did actually have a fair few bullets, which was surprising because it was very early into wipe. Right. Base is soaked. Everything's soaked. I died at last second when I was shooting rockets. Like an absolute pleb. But... It's um, done now. Or nearly. Trap the C4 on this. Should drop. Basically, the whole base. There we go. Base is raided. Some bullets. I mean, they did have a good amount of bullets. I can't even lie. Did take a minute to uh, another fabricator. There we go. Um, more bullets. Not fat, fat, but good profit, I guess. Heavy turret. I dropped that without even soaking it, so yeah, they did actually have a good amount of bullets. Uh, I'll take them. Right, now into the actual loot here. We've got a mannequin here. What did he have on him? Anything? Oh, chop wyvern. Ember wyvern, so. Quite a low level one. Right, let's see what the mannequin has got in him. Uh, I thought that was a snarl egg there. Honestly, not much at all. Right, now we got the smithies and the chem benches. Hopefully, it supplies me some loot. Eh, yeah, you know what? It's profit. It's profit. Not not fat fat. A rhino. Rhinos are actually really buff on here, apparently. So, yes, yeah, snow owl egg. I'll actually take that. And then, obviously, metal. Wait, right? that's another snow owl egg. Two snow owls. Right, let me... Drop this for the metal. So overall, it is a pretty mid raid. I did get a snow owl line and a rhino line from it, so I was kind of happy. And obviously, the bullets and materials were nice, but the action didn't stop there. When I was going to transfer off, I found a guy in a manor, and I'm gonna try to PvP him. That guy in a manor. Yeah, this guy in a manor. Yeah, yeah, man is here. This is mine though. 
killed him. My stalker did that though. Oh, anglerfish! Let's go! Oh, let's go, anglerfish! That's actually huge. I literally got zero stalkers, so I'm gonna need to go attempt them, but. I can give you the three points. Had, he had got he got flak. He had a good flak, I'm pretty sure. Oh, good shorty too. Nice. I haven't seen someone on a mana for years, bro. I can't even lie to you. Yeah, nobody uses mana in this. Oh! So I deposited all that loot that I'd got from that PvP and that raid and came straight over to Fyodor and I found a raid in the snow biome thing and it was actually kind of easy. So let's do it and hope for some good loot. But before I get into this raid, let me tell you about Nuke Arc Democraft. It is a 25x instant tame server with instant level and custom recipes. They've got loads of custom caves and a huge $1,000 cluster alpha reward. They wipe on November the 26th, so make sure you're over there. And they've got loads of stats and features you guys will love and enjoy. Anyway, make sure you go join at this cool top link in the description and I'll see you there. Boys, I never scout for Yordor and I just thought I'd just scout the cliffs. And I found a very, very easy raid for me. Um, so I'm about to do it now. I believe I can just charge it i don't know how you charge those to be honest uh this should do the job there we go yeah that was so easy that was very easy all right i thought it was going to be harder than that but obviously not uh let me blow this i believe it's 6x down here i'm not 100 percent sure yeah it is definitely 6x that's crazy that um, so let me see. Um, fabricator. Oh, fat loot, really. That's actually good loot. Uh, grapples, shorties, shorty shells, sorry. Uh, refining forges, a bit of metal. I'm not going to be taking these refining forges because right now I don't uh, need that. I just need the fat metal run. Uh, refining forge. There we go. Another track and X track. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, Fabby, we'll take the Fabbies because they're actually very good right now. Uh, overall, overall, a decent raid. Literally, didn't spend anything on it really. So yeah, definitely take that. Uh, I might actually see what how much bullets we got in here. How many bullets? Nah, not worth it. I then came over to Val as I wanted to farm loads of drops because purple drops in here is a chance of you getting a shotgun so I needed to get a couple of them for a center boss fight and I stumbled across one of the craziest finds this early on I've ever had uh, I guess you'll see what that is in a second oh my god I found someone I found someone with replicator What the hell is this guy doing? 100 C4 Nothing Master L beats everything I'm run But oh. This is mad, like I don't I got hundred and something C4 though. What the hell? That's crazy. Don't know how I just found that. I was on the side of the map, just found random guy. Oh heavies! And a good rhino saddle. Let's go. So I needed to get my rat hole fully teched here. So I came up to center to do a hard center boss fight. To obviously get tech turret, tech trans and all of that good stuff. So let's do it. Right. There we go. The boss should be done. There we go. It's done. I've got the engrams and I've also got how much element? Oh my god. 510. That's actually insane. Um... Obviously, use my uh, controller to LB the uh, monkey's element. But yeah, I've got loads of stuff in my upload ready to craft. 
a uh, few bits, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Wait, oh my god. I've had to just destroy a foundation for... Oh my god! I've just got another 224 <laughs> element. <laughs> I, had to, I had to destroy that to place my foundation down. And even more element. That's actually funny. I'm just going to craft turrets right now. Uh, what do I need? Crystal. I didn't bring crystal. Oh. I only need turrets right now. But now I'm going to place this all this element in a box on this map so the one thing i was stacking on heavily was blueprints so i came over to lost islands to farm the drops in the desert as the spawn rate's so so quick obviously there are other people over here doing it with me so i'm probably gonna run into some pvp oh i need to be careful baby it feels love baby it feels love hello maywing just gonna quickly lb this drop for me late Black chest BB. Kinda nice. There we go. Oh my! My boy was farming drops! Um, let me see what he has. I got a chest BP. 264. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Bro, it's like, it's day one. I know this is a bit harsh, me raiding this, but I'm gonna raid it because I want loot. You know what, I'm not even gonna waste a C4 on this. I'm just gonna swipe it down. So if I get no loot, I haven't lost anything. Right, let's see what we got. A Fabby. That Fabi alone is a profit. Mm. Like, actually is. A snow owl, please be a male. And it's a male snow owl. I literally needed a male snow owl to breathe. And I got one. Let's go. Uh, I'm just going to take the stuff that I don't actually... I'm just going to take the stuff that I actually need. Not everything, you know. Um, fabricator. Profit in that. Mortar. Um, a bit of metal in each, to be fair. Uh, wait, how much metal are we talking? Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. But I got a male snow owl, which, which I needed, so like, yeah. And I kept on scouting the rest of that center, and I found another base. This time it didn't have turrets again, but we all know that don't mean it don't have any loot. So let's see what loot it has. Yeah. Okay. Sleeping, obviously. Uh, we got more pesty, bit of gunpowder, bit more gunpowder. Let me just blow this all up because yeah, it's a bit of a weird base to say the least. There we go. Now I can actually kill him. What did he have on him? Uh, another bloodstalker. If that's not level, that's actually a really decent bloodstalker. An ascendant whip for me. Nice. Another PT. Yeah, not too much. Bit of pearls. Uh, fabricator. A little bit of loot there. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm not going to bother taking that, but that's decent. I'm going to kill this uh, rhino. Rhinos are actually buffed like 4.5x on here, so I'm probably going to go grab some rhinos in a bit. Yes, bro, I'm listening to... Let's go. What loot? Shrey, a whip. Not much loot, to be honest. Um, what Shrey? Yeah, another good Shrey. I'll take it, I'll take it. Folded my PT. It's fine. I need to transfer off anyway. I literally got into that drop to transfer. So I wanted to get some magma saw regs to do some fatty metal runs. Little did I know this was going to be very, very stressful. 
Oh, that's 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 really not good. Level 25 and a 45. Yikes. As we all know, trading is a pretty good way of gaining better lines and blueprints. So there was someone in trading selling some PTs and I was selling my track. So I just decided to do a couple track eggs for a couple PT eggs. Obviously the track is a better line, but I just needed some PTs at this point. He says he's here. He's not here, bro. Oh yeah, he is. He's here, there we go. Right. Try egg or PTs. Oh no. There we go. There we go. Now we've got a PT line, that's good. Trade it for a track. There we go. Now I can go eat my dinner. Literally been waiting like ten minutes just to go eat my dinner. Alright boys, I'm just finishing up this pole run and honestly I've been down here for like 4 minutes, 5 minutes and I've got a ridiculous <laughs> amount of poles. This location is just absolutely insane, there's poles everywhere and there's not even any PVE down here which makes it 10 times better. Um, so right now, I've got, let me see, I've got 250k poles which will literally last me so so long, that's uh, 285 slots, I'm going to get a little bit more. And then um, go back to the server. So I needed to tame a mantis. And obviously the best way to tame these is over on Ragnarok Rock with uh, Gilly Armor or Mushroom Broth I believe it's called. So I'm going to test it out and see if I can tame one. Right, what have we got here? It's a female. 205. That's not terrible. That is actually not terrible. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, should I tame a female uh, male over here? Probably should. That's what I'll do now. Quickly tame a male, breed them up, get an egg. Go back and I'll have an imprint in Mantis and also a good Mantis line. That is good. good. Right, boys, I've just finished up over on Scorch Stuff. I just want to get all the farming out of the way because after today, I just want to be set and ready for the rest of the white ready, which I will be. Uh, flint wise, I got 600k, which is insane considering I was over here like half an hour. Um, and then stone, I got 250k, and then I'm obviously gonna get more stone from my metal run that I'm about to do. Uh, so yeah. The grind is going very, very well. So I was scouting around Aberration looking for raids. And surprisingly, I found so many that I'm actually going to do. Uh, but I scouted one spot in particular. And there was actually a guy inside. I think he was about to build his base. So I'm going to see if I can get some loot from him. Bro, stalkers are so buggy. He's just logged off. Oh my god. It was literally just on. Oh my. I got a free farm from him. Nice. We'll take that. Oh, he's, yeah, he was setting it up his base. But hadn't actually set up already. Fair enough. And then I came back to this actually kind of fat raid I wanted to do and it was on a rat hole on aberration as you're seeing now and it had so many heavy turrets so I'm going to see if I can try to soak this in time and hopefully they don't come online whilst I'm raiding it. Oh, oh, good. Good. oh L with a trap mate, bag. bozo.io. Yeah, Lewis is the biggest bozo on the oh, of the tribe. I, I didn't realise. I was soaking and I totally didn't realise I just ran out of health. Okay. Your track just died? Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually a bozo. <laughs> and you called Lewis the bozo. Well, yeah, that's perfect time, well, actually. I, I was, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Put that in your video. No, no, put that in your video. I, I, was, I was looking at your stream and I was like, wait, what? And I just died. I didn't die, but my track did. You have more tracks? Or? Yeah, I've got one more track over here. It was just for mate boost, really. 
So I'd pretty much soak most of these turrets and I was getting excited because I was about to get in the base and then something like this happens. Oh, he's online. No. Oh. <laughs> GB. No way. Oh, you ain't got Fabio. Sort of I do have a Fabio. And I did not have the gear to raid these guys online, so I had to sadly pack up my fob. I literally spent like 20 30 minutes soaking, and one of my tracks did die. It's a bit sad, but that's what happens on Ark sometimes. Oh, it's been raided. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? They've. Yeah, they've been raided. Wait. Wait, why? Vault. Oh, they've. Why is there three yeah, volts picked up? Wait, GB, I swear it's recent. Yeah. I do with everything. It's unlocked. Ah, oh. oh, I don't know. It's something really good and left. Yeah. What? It's been raided. I was coming over here to raid it, and there was turrets and not. Oh, Rhino said it actually. Now there's nothing. I vault. When? I remember when. Oh, oh, picked up. Blew the vault. They must have got something good out of the vault. Yeah, they must have got something really good out of this actually. So rip. And then I came to do a metal run and I had a bit of diarrhea whilst doing so. Right boys, we just got 200k metal as you can see here. And a ton of stone. And we just have four forges smelting. And we'll be able to pump out metal ingots like it's nothing. If you haven't already, make sure you go watch this video up on the screen right now. It's action packed with raids, PvP and much, much more. Anyway, if you have made this far into the video, please put G77 in the comments and know how made this far. With that being said, have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video.